Hi, my name is Aditya Deshpande. I am an applications engineer with Microchip Technology. In this video, I will show you how to use one LSB Octal DAC Evaluation Board or EV76B70A. Microchip's EV76B70A Evaluation Board supports both SPI and I2C compatible serial interface digital to analog converters. The board provides an option to select between 5V and 3.3V supply as per requirement. SPI compatible MCP48 CMB28 DAC is located at the top side of the board and the I2C compatible MCP47 CMB28 DAC is located at the bottom side of the board. This 1LSB Octal DAC evaluation board has the microbus connector and can be mounted on any of the microbus connection supported microcontroller development boards. Onboard MCP 150120IC provides an option to connect external 2.048 voltage reference to board DACs. Our onboard DACs are 12-bit resolution buffered voltage output octal channel digital to analog converters with MTP memory. These devices provide four different voltage reference options, device VDD, external buffered or unbuffered VREF, and internal band gap. It offers one LSB integral non-linearity with low power consumption and a fast settling time of 4 microseconds. These DACs are pivotal in various applications where a precision operation with low power and non-volatile memory is needed. These DACs are suitable for consumer and industrial applications such as set point or offset trimming, data acquisition, sensor calibrations, motor control applications, and more. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the EV76B70A 1LSB Octal DAC Evaluation Board with Microchip's Curiosity HPC Development Board. For this demo, we need DM164136 Curiosity HPC Development Board, EV76B70A 1LSB Octal DAC Evaluation Board, micro USB cable for Curiosity HPC board connection to the computer, and digital signal oscilloscope for capturing the output waveforms. To begin, connect the EV76B70A to the microbus connector on Curiosity HPC board as shown here. For this demo, the power supply selection jumper of Curiosity board is connected to 3.3V. Make sure jumper J1 of EV76B70A board is connected to 3.3V as well. Next. Connect the micro USB cable from your computer to the Curiosity HPC board. Now, program the controller with DAC sample code using MPLAB IDE. Refer the 1LSB Octal DAC Evaluation Board User's Guide for the instructions on how to program the controller. Link to the DAC sample code is available in the description below. Once the Curiosity board is programmed with the DAC sample code, the green active LED on the bottom left of the Curiosity HPC board turns on and LED D4 which is located at the bottom center of the board starts blinking. This implies the DAC sample code is running. At first, the LED D4 starts blinking while the other LEDs D2, D3, D5 remain at off state. This indicates that the MCP48 CMB28 DAC is receiving the input signal and the sine wave can be observed at channel 0 of the SPI output as shown here. The frequency of the sine wave can be modified by turning the potentiometer on the Curiosity HPC board. This will also result in a change to the speed of the blinking LED D4. Next, press switch S1 of Curiosity HPC board to see SPI output waveform changes its shape to sawtooth waveform. At this stage, LED D5 starts blinking while LEDs D2, D3, D4 remains at off state. Frequency of the sawtooth waveform can be modified by turning the potentiometer on the Curiosity HPC board. This will also change the speed of LED D5's blinking. For I2C demo, press switch S2. LED D2 starts blinking while LEDs D3, D4, D5 remain at off state. This indicates that MCP 47 CMB 28 is receiving input signal and the sine wave can be observed at channel 0 of I2C output. Frequency of the sine wave can be modified by turning the potentiometer on the Curiosity HPC board. 
This will also change the speed of LED D2's blinking. Next, press switch S2 to see I2C output waveform change its shape to sawtooth. At this stage, LED D3 starts blinking while LEDs D2, D4, D5 remain at off state. Frequency of the sawtooth waveform can be modified by turning the potentiometer on the Curiosity HPC board. This will also change the speed of LED D3's blinking. With modification to DAC sample code, output can be observed at all 8 channels of SPI compatible MCP 48 CMB28 DAC and I2C compatible MCP 47 CMB28 DAC. Thanks for watching.